Testing, testing. It's time to stand up. Is that right? That's right. Is it time to march? That's right. Justice is like running a relay. You run your circle, and then you pass the baton. It is a crime for people to live in this rich nation and receive starvation wages. Reverend William Barber is leading the movement to fulfill the unfinished Poor People's Campaign. We must be committed to building a movement in America that says no more blaming the poor. Now I'm a Kansas farmer's wife. Kansas farmers are committing suicide. Why? They're usually in debt, up to their eyeballs. I worked 41 years in the coal mines. I have black lung. And I'm from Flint, Michigan. You can't imagine being in my footsteps. I have children who have never had the experience of drinking from the tap. Poverty, broken hearts. I've seen it all over this country. There is this deep crisis. People are feeling it. We are here because we're going to win living wages. Yeah. We are here because we're going to win housing rights yeah. and equitable education yeah. and the right to thrive, yeah. not just barely survive. We're on the path to justice. We might not win tomorrow. We might not win in five years, but we're going to win. I had worked for 20 years on doing very grassroots anti-poverty organizing, trying to, you know, challenge this immorality of poverty in the richest country in the world. And I met Reverend Barber, who is bringing just a clarity and a vision. I'm tired of seeing people pit working class white people against black people, against brown people, when we need to be allies. I was taught early on that there's no separation between Jesus and justice. I'm here as a preacher, because I follow this brown-skinned Palestinian Jew who never charged a leper a copay. So don't even come to me talking about following Jesus if you're not standing with the poor. We stood on the balcony where Dr. King was murdered and vowed to pick up the torch and carry it on. Until every vote is protected, until every person is respected, we've got to hold it up. We're re-engaging direct action of all forms, non-violently, voter mobilization, training from the bottom up. Everybody who sets policy ought to be ashamed, and we're going to put it on the map in a powerful coalition. Send everybody a note of thank you. I joined the Poor People's Campaign because I just know that everything that's happening to us isn't right. I was homeless for five years. I made choices that got me where I was, but like, what did I have to choose from? There's nothing for anyone to do in this town except get high. I want to give hope to people that have zero hope. I'm hopeful when I see the people coming together around the nation. When I see all of these movements, whether it be Marl Monday, Black Lives Matter, the fight for 15. This is Dr. King's dream, people. They are going to hear us. Our democracy is in trouble. Reverend William Barber was arrested during a rally at the legislative building. Don't stop! I have a disability. I have severe ankylosing spondylitis, and I've had to learn how to live with that. 
if I get arrested and the handcuffs go on, you know, I, I think about falling sometimes. Sometimes the pain is very intense. But then I see other people who come on walkers who, who have other issues and then I get re-inspired. You get something my grandmama called the can't help it. You just can't help it. Once your family enters, there are risks to that. I very seldom talk about them in the public arena. I have the death threat. Some of the stuff that has come in, this one says, I've got you in the dead pool. This is nothing compared to what people in the past have had to deal with. So we fight on. If we don't address this issue of poverty and low wealth, we will never energize the 100 million Americans who stayed home in 2016. Our vote. Yeah. Yeah, 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 if you mobilize 2 to 10% of the poor around an agenda, you can fundamentally shift every election in this country. Let your voice be heard. Get out and vote. I want you to know that when hands that once picked cotton Join hands of Latinos, join hands of progressive whites, join faith hands and labor hands and Asian hands and Native American hands and poor hands and wealthy hands with a conscience and gay hands and straight hands and trans hands and Christian hands and Jewish hands and Muslim hands and Hindu hands and Buddhist hands. When we all get together, we are an instrument of redemption. It's better to die having fought for justice than to live and stood on the sidelines and watch injustice have its way without a challenge.